to the CCM Motorcycle Stand here at Motorcycle Live, where CCM are enjoying something of a, of a renaissance here. James Blunt alongside me as well. James, hello, welcome. James, a very proud CCM Motorcycle owner. Well, we're going to find out what's under the covers of this one. It's actually the, the FT6 flat track. I don't think you've seen one in the flesh yet, have you, James? Without further ado, we should pull the covers off if you're ready as well, Sutty. Here we go, cameras at the ready. And here it is, launched here this weekend, the Motorcycle Live, the CCM FT6 flat tracker in all its glory. Handmade in Britain by Brit. What do you reckon, James? seen the FT6 for the first time and I'm really jealous I've got the FT35 at home and now I really want to upgrade it looks amazing I'm one of the first customers for the original Spitfire and I think it just looks like it looks like nothing I've ever seen before really I think you know the Skunk Works team have got involved in that amazing wells and they've just created a bike that looks entirely retro and yet almost futuristic at the same time I've ridden bikes since I was 16 years old uh, I, I base myself when I'm in the UK in London and it's no place for a car and I'd only ever be on two wheels uh, and then I've, and I've been on a number of bikes and many of them much heavier than a CCM and a CCM for me is light and it's easy maneuverable easy to get through traffic, easy to pop up onto a curb if you need to, uh, wherever you're parking your bike, um, and it's got that little bit of grunt to get you where you want to go or out of any trouble in a flash. So it might be good for a, a, a track or a flat track as I've got, but it's great for a, great for a London road as well. For me, I suppose, you know, as a kid you get on a bicycle, don't you, with two wheels and you start pedalling and it's your sense of freedom that you have from your parents immediately and it gets you somewhere um, with, a, with a wind in your hair and a motorbike is just one up on that, it's the better invention of that um, and you're there in a flash, um, you are your own person, uh, every corner is a pleasure, every straight road is an excitement, um, for me there's no other better way to travel. I joke that um, as a smaller man I've needed motorbikes to help me um, find myself a girlfriend, after that I joined the army uh, uh, for the uniform and then became a musician, all in an attempt to uh, attract girls, no it didn't necessarily work but I've had a lot of fun doing it. In fact, I've only really ever made a fool of myself. I did have a socking great motorbike once, and I recorded um, uh, some demos of mine uh, for EMI Music before I had a record deal. Came out with my guitar on my back, my leather jacket on, climbed on my motorbike, and they said, God, you're going to be a star one day, and, and, and God, don't you look cool? And for a moment I did, until at one mile an hour, I lost balance, fell over, smashed the guitar, the mirror, and the indicator, and the bike was so heavy, I couldn't pick it up myself. Uh, so they had to help me, and I walked away thinking, oh, what an idiot. I didn't get signed by EMI Music. I couldn't be more excited. I'm getting a Spitfire really soon. What a thrill. Thank you, CCM. You're great. time ago I saw this, this particular machine uh, advertised as Spitfire and um, I wanted to see one in the flesh. Um, I've come across today and I'm, quite, I'm blown away actually by this bike, so much so that I'm ordering one today. It, for me it's refreshing, it's simple but nice and very almost basic looking but purposeful and to me that's everything given I have other motorbikes, exotica, but this for me is exactly what I want.